everyone mental like video from the truck with here with Dave Mann how you doing today hey, how you guys doing um so this is a mental light interview so uh what were you doing a few years ago how did you hear about Jesus stuff like that okay so in 2014 I was living at some apartments here in Springfield Missouri uh, they're called the John B Hughes apartments I've been on about a three three year heroin binge uh, I started shooting methamphetamines, and um, I was I was partying one night, hanging out with a girlfriend, and I ended up uh, going to check on her in the bathroom. I found her overdosed, and uh, uh, be blue dead in the bathtub, um, and it just it devastated me. Um, I've I've dealt with a lot of losses previously before that, so this was kind of like a trigger to all the. Uh, the, the the shame and guilt that I've I've had carrying in my life for a long time. So what I did is I ended up um, putting on a backpack, and uh, I just started living homeless in uh, different areas here in Springfield. And ultimately, I ended up just getting on a Greyhound and moving out to Portland, Oregon. I was living under bridges, eating out of dumpsters, flying signs. Um, I ended up going to L.A. for a little bit, walking Skid Row, um, just cop and heroin uh, black tar down there and uh, I was just all alone I ended up going back to Portland Oregon I was living under the bridge and uh, I remember waking up on a piece of cardboard blisters on my feet starving dope sick I remember praying to God and I asked God to to just save me from this place that it was resembled hell and uh, about a week later God showed up but he showed up in the form of extradition services and brought me back to Springfield, Missouri. I was in jail awaiting a trial or court, and um, I went to a church service. I ended up getting saved. I gave my life to the Lord, and uh, I ended up going back to prison for that time was the fifth time back to prison. And uh, that's where I ended up meeting um, Claire Zimmerman, uh, who, who I met uh, Teddy through. Hello. <laughs> and uh, But I ended up... Uh, you know, I remember writing a letter in prison to a counselor, and I told her how I didn't feel I deserved another chance at um, another treatment or another chance because so many people have died in my life. I was like, what's so different about me than all these people? And uh, a few months later, I was released, and like a dog returning to his vomit, I went back to the same old thing. I ended up running for six months. This time I had more of a conscience about... Um, the crime and the drugs and uh, I ended up getting locked back up um, this time I prayed to God I remember laying on the cement floor in the jail cell in Green County Jail and I remember crying from deep within my soul of tears I was weeping and I, I just asked God to show me what I what it was I was missing and uh, about a month later I went to I went to Fulton Diagnostic uh, Center here, and God gave me my first Bible verse, my first proverb, actually. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, submit to Him in all your ways, and He will lead you on a straight path. About a month later, I got to uh, the year-long treatment center, and I, it just, I was filled with this faith to just chase after God and to learn to learn the, the characteristics of who Jesus really was. And uh, this is where I began to have a revelation of the, the, the blood of Jesus and what he did for me on the cross. And um, so about it, I, I did ended up doing the whole year-long treatment. Um, I got out of prison in April 2017. I ended up going to a, a recovery home program. And... I was there about five months, but at the church, at that recovery home, it's called the Hope Homes, I began to serve. I was on security. I taught classes. Um, I created a support system and rooted into, which is City Reach Church Springfield. Uh, I've been out of prison for um, about a year and a half. I'm in Bible school. I'm uh, pursuing my bachelor's degree in biblical studies at SUM uh, Bible School and Theological Seminary. Um, you know, God's doing a lot of things. I've been clean for three years. I haven't smoked a cigarette in two and a half years. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, and, and I know that 
there's hope out there and that God, Jesus loves you and he has a plan and a purpose for your life. Amen. So one more question. And that proverb was Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Hallelujah. Um, what's one thing you would say to somebody if uh, right now, say they're watching this video and they're struggling with a heroin addiction? I would or, say this right here. I would say all the homeboys, all the people, the, the acquaintances, people you ran with, None of that matters. You don't need to worry about what John, Jimmy, Jack, or any of them guys are doing. You need to worry about what you're doing and understand that it's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ determines your self-worth. Find your identity in Christ. That's what I'd tell you. Amen. Thank you, Dave. Hallelujah. Mental light video here. Good job.